welcome back everyone to some more Asterigos. So uh, on my way out of that mine, I uh, found a couple of shortcuts and like a couple of pick up Uh Nothing serious. Uh, I might have found some lore, but meh. It, it, it was there. I did see this on the way up though, so I thought I'd grab this. And uh, we need to speak to Abalone. Is it, that, that's this woman, is it? What was it like in the mine? The magical defense devices on the second and bottom levels were destroyed by the goblins. Only the ones at the entrance are left. Damn it! When those miners didn't return, I thought something like that must have happened. I want to smash those bastards' hands with an orichalcum pickaxe. We lost so many good people getting those devices in place. I don't know if they can still be repaired. But we could try to find a way to get in deeper and find out the truth. <laughs> Easier said than done. Just trying to keep the village from collapsing is taxing enough. How about this? If you help me take care of this problem, we won't just reopen trade. The pit village will unconditionally work with Minerva. How does that sound? Really? You have my word. But you gotta show me the results first. I'll tell Minerva. Damn the gods. Whatever, just take care of it. Curiosity drives us forward, leading us to explore the known and challenge the unknown. Yet, it also makes us forget our limits, and attempt to control that which should never be touched. The righteous path is always fraught with danger. The curse of Aethys has proven this, and none of us should repeat the same mistake. Maybe I should check in with Minerva first. Alright, I guess we're doing that then. We're gonna go check in with Minerva. Uh, it says, take damage defensive device fragment to Minerva back in the shelter. Uh, sure, we'll do that. So when I was down in the bottom of the stellar mine, I found where the episode ended, there's some platforms. Now, I kind of cheated to get back. So I jumped over, not realising that there was a like, there wasn't a way back. So I saved my game and reloaded it and it put me back at the checkpoint. Which was uh, kind of cheesy it, but at the same time it worked. I didn't want to drop down there because there was like a huge crystal wall. And it looked like there was going to be some sort of boss. It was like a drop down, no way back up sort of thing. So I passed up on that. And... Uh, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do now. Uh, if we go... If we do the bazaar... We sort of got to deal with those turret things. So I don't know what to do, but we're going to go back to Minerva now. I will see you there. Maybe I should bring this back to Minerva first. You can tell I'm an idiot. I completely forgot the shortcut through the cave, so I just ran all the way back for nothing. I wonder if it's possible as well to clear everything on the map or the game, because it doesn't seem like there's any light loading screens, so the whole world is the whole world. Did you agree to let Quintus come and go as he pleases? Yes. There are still ways that Quintus can be useful right now. There's no harm in making things a bit more convenient for him. All right, that's a choice I just can't understand. Don't worry, I'll make sure we keep an eye on him. 
Kill that. What do we do now? War table? We did all this. Talk. Uh. What do we do? Do we leave? Let's leave. Time is of the essence. And talk again. There we go. I found and destroyed a magical device in the depths of the mine. It looks like we've prevented the magical anomaly from spreading further for now. Yes, you did well. At least we know now what happened in the mine. I didn't expect that voice to still be affecting people's minds. A thousand years ago, it took so much sacrifice to suppress it. Is there really no way to solve the problem once and for all? We believe that the anomalies in the mine could be linked to Asteragos. We've been trying to study and solve the mystery for the past thousand years. But we haven't managed to succeed. And the dangers involved have cost us a great deal. If we are able to solve this predicament for the Pit Village, we'll definitely have their support. Mistress, I don't think we'll be able to solve the magical anomalies in the mine anytime soon. We're running out of time, and there are more important and pressing missions. We can still give a reply to Abalon. There's no harm in having more allies. They are very stubborn, and they are openly disdainful of the Aristoi. I don't think they really trust you, mistress. Unless... Unless we think of a better explanation and firmly win Abalon's trust. We should appease the miners. I don't think the miners want to take advantage of you. They have experience with an Aristoi who treats his workers well. So they hope someone else will show them the same kindness. You should try to understand what they're feeling and calm their fears of the current situation. If you can do that, I believe they'll be very grateful. The Aristoi you're talking about, child. We'll discuss it and come to a conclusion on our own. We don't need your input, Hilda. It's just a suggestion. Feel free to ignore it. Enough. Here, the Echo Stone we agreed on. We'll talk later about a response. Don't get distracted from the task at hand. Hilda? Time is of the essence. Okay, let's see if talking to her again does something. Hilda? No. Time is of the essence. Alright, so... Meet up with Otto on the second floor of the armory. We need to do that still. Continue to look for Marissa in the deep areas of August Bazaar. Uh, I don't really know what to do now. Like, I know how to get to Argus Bastar, a bazaar, Bastar, and, uh, I'm, I'm going the long way now. We do have some new abilities, uh, we have electricity as well, so maybe that's something to do with it. Watch me absolutely annihilate this werewolf. I ran past him on the way here. They still take four hits. Maybe stuff scales with you? That might be a thing. Okay, this is Argus Bazaar. Bazaar. I don't know why I keep saying Bazaar. So, we have that thing that fires... We've got that giant bird thing we've got to deal with. The harpy, that's it. And then we've got the armory. Which is off this way. I don't really know what to do. I guess we're going to go to the armory because well, we're going to try and get there. See, see what we can do because we've got electricity now so it might be useful. And realistically I don't know what else to do. Uh, I feel like both areas have something I can't get past. I'm going to rest. It. No, I'm not going to rest. I'm just going to keep going. The good thing about not resting is stuff doesn't respawn and you can get potions just by killing stuff so you don't really have to worry about it here we go this is the Fallon Academy uh, I'm just gonna run past things I can avoid oh someone's attacking 
All right. Do we have to run past these? Or do we have to fight these? Sorry. I mean, we'll do it anyway. them dealt with that was well easy we got like 46,000 stardust no I was meant to parry back up We should just get through these really quickly now. Uh, how do we beat this guy again? There we go. Uh, we've got that dog thing over there, but we can go this way. I don't like fighting the dogs just because they run so fast. And they just, they just jump around and move and I'd rather not. And I want to try and get to where we've been before. So we met him here. It wasn't it the uh, guy we've just seen? I think it was. Shay. No, it definitely wasn't Shay. Uh, we can go this way. Whoa! I wanted to get rid of the guy with the shield. There we go. Oh, we got ice concentrate. I thought you got the concentrates from using that element. I guess that's proving my theory because I'm using fire at the minute. Spear is so good. So second floor of the armory. Well, this is the Gate of Glory. We went up that way. That's where we deactivated the uh, turret. Off camera, this big guy here has killed me once. Because I got greedy. Dealt with. Oh no, not again. The last movie did to me that killed me, he jumped on me. Calm down. Ah, yeah. oh, press X like an idiot. Let's press Y. I'm getting greedy. Oh, I'm glad I got two uh, potions off him. Okay, that's him dealt with. We do have. This is the Hall of Prides. That would explain why lions are here. Second floor. No, that should not have hit me. No.
Use the potion. There we go. So second floor would be above where we are now. Oh wait, did I go in here? Oh, I don't like that. We've not actually been in here. We might be actually in a place wor worth being. Oh, he killed his friend. Oh! There we go. Take this quick. Here we go, armory. We're actually getting somewhere now. Do we end it here? Right, we've got a checkpoint. The amount of cuts I'm going to make though, I'm not sure. I can't believe I didn't actually see this door before. Screw it, we'll just keep going. It's Otto. What is he looking at? Hey! Hilda! I can't wait any longer. Don't go looking for a meal. Owen. It's a message from Owen. What's going on? Did something happen to Emil? Emil, could he have been captured? Captured? What have you all been doing? You've got to tell me, Otto. I... I can't disclose the details of the mission. My mission is to determine the progress of your mission. I have a right to know the details. All right, fine. I, I got it. Don't push so hard. Ask whether something went wrong during the mission. Also, how did you get that much information from that symbol? Did something go wrong during the mission? We were originally carrying out Eumenides' request deep within Styx. The mission was progressing smoothly at first. Drake was our team leader. But we didn't have enough intel. We encountered a prison guardian just as we were leaving. It was powerful and bizarre. It hindered our exfiltration. How many were in your team? Seven of us in total. Owen, Emil, and I managed to escape to Fallon Academy. But I don't know what happened to the rest. The commotion in the prison immediately alerted the Ephesian soldiers in the academy. In the chaos, I was separated from Owen and Emil. Then the Ephesian soldiers activated the magic ballistae. You know the rest. At least now we can confirm that Owen managed to get out. What's the plan now? Hilda, we can use the magic mark with that conduit there to meet up with the commander. Otto, wait. Although my mission's important, our brothers could still be in danger. We can't just ignore them. That would be disobeying orders. Drake's order was to retreat. The commander didn't give us permission to do this. Be flexible. We can meet up with the rest after finding the others. That doesn't mean we're disobeying the order, does it? Let's start with the areas where patrols are at their weakest. We should find some way to proceed. I, um, yeah, you're right. There he is. That's my partner. Thank you, Hilda. Without you, I could never be this determined. Marshall Tower is where I was separated from Emil. Let's go there first. Right, just like we used to. I'll clear the path, and you find opportunities to follow behind. Brilliant. Oh, I did not know you could interrupt to write things down. The north building of the armory. Must be where the Aphis Legion's weapons are supplied from. Alright, I did that thinking there'd be law from it, but you know. That's very fancy music. Because of the position in where I started the video from, I might end up just going back to that previous uh, save point. But at least we can do is clear some out. Okay, we've got an openable door there. Look at that look. 10 out of 10 that. The sweeping attack of this spear is just insane. Okay, it needs to be open from the other side. That means it's probably a shortcut. I wonder how many of these guys have actually attacked us. Probably all of them actually. 
I'd say this game is a, is a Souls-like. I mean, I've not played tons of Souls-likes. Did you see me? Oh, the shield actually makes him flinch. Just checking over here. Yeah, nothing we can slice or break. Is this a shortcut? I did hear a checkpoint. I guess we're going down here. Uh, okay, I did hear a checkpoint. Maybe it's above? I don't know. Is there anything I can... Yeah, there we go. I knew there'd be something I could take. Can we not get up there? There's nothing up there anyway. Uh, let's try and take people on. Steadily. Like, let's try not to take on too much at once. You know I'll die. Gimme. I do like how the game, the way her animations are, are programmed into whatever. So like, opening chest is the daggers, even if you don't use the daggers. Oh wait, talk. Guess I'm not talking to him. Oh, he just says he loves his job. Spartan kick. Oh yeah. If I just do this, it like completely break him. I mean, it breaks these guys. Come on, give me the option. Is that it? I'm going to pull it, but go to the other side as well. I know that's just going to open that door. I really hope I give enough time for those. Oh, hi. I'll have a look over here. Surely there's got to be like some checkpoint or something. Uh, let's not go that way. That's too much to take on right now. I was kind of hoping for just like a checkpoint. Can we talk to him? Why are you the only one lazing about? I can't work normally anymore. It's called B8. Why? Oh, your tool's damaged. It got damaged one morning during the previous work cycle. It can break down starlight and stardust. All right. Okay, he's not really got anything interesting to say. Is that going to take us up or down? Let's go up. That's where I was going to go anyway, so why not? Oh, we've got some guys to deal with. Yeah. 
Sit down. We aren't really taking much damage anymore. I don't know if that's because my health bar's like just so big that these guys can't do much damage to me. I'm looking around just for like bits of loot and whatever. The south building of the armory. There's a small inscription below. The House Laurel Smiths. Hmm. They must be tightly controlled. That was nicely done. Uh, let's just keep going. I was gonna like hold off, but. That is far too powerful, just repeating the same move. I I'm gonna say I will try to not do that, but. I know I will. That's just to turn that off. That's the way we came as well. Oh, that's the area where I couldn't get through. This seems to be Ballista area too. I don't know why they'd want to blow up their own building. There are burn marks. Our brothers must have fought a fierce battle here. <gasps> this spear was made in Ambari. It's heavily damaged. Looking closer, I can tell that it's the head of a meal spear. But the blood. Ephesians don't bleed anymore. By the winds, Emil and Owen must have fought hard here. I'm getting more worried. All right, cool. Uh, we're going to use this. And then I'm probably just going to end the video here. Stop moving. Unless you want to see your insides on the outside. Forget it, Owen. It's over. I can't run faster than those lines. No, you don't get to quit now. I'm going to distract the bastards. Take the chance to get out of here. You need to make it back with the materials the commander wants. <laughs> Should I tell them that you made me your sole heir right before you died? Hey, I'm not dead yet. But if the worst does happen, I'll leave my possessions here and see which of you is the most reluctant to leave me behind. You want us to come back for your body? You are not. <laughs> Go back to the Conwin and wait for me. May the sun, the moon, and the north wind guide you. And you as well. Okay. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. This was quite a good video. The attacks, uh, well, the spear is doing really well now. And I'm happy with it. So, uh, again, I hope you enjoyed and hope you look forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, bye-bye.